Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created this uh, blog list page and also this sidebar. Now in this video, we will create the single post page. So whenever someone clicks on this blog post, they should go to a page where the whole content of that blog post is displayed. So let's create that page in this video. Let's get started. So here I'm in my source code and the first thing we will do is we'll create a new file called singlepost.html and let's copy everything inside the blog list page. So I'll just select everything and copy it and paste it inside this new page. And let's go ahead and delete everything inside the content. So in the content we have this left part of our page. So let's delete everything inside the content. And here I'll just type content and now we can see we have this content on the left side and the sidebar on the right side so now let's go ahead and link this so let's go to our blog list page and here for the first blog post and let's go ahead and change uh, the anchor tag href to single post.html and i'll just do the same for this heading and now if you go back and if i click on this uh, blog post we are taken to the single post page now we can see that for the content we don't have the full width so let's go back and let's go to the styler css file and here let's go to the post container content. I think we haven't added that selector for the content. Let's search for it. Content. And we don't have that selector for page container content. So let's scroll down and uh, let's add that post container content. So I'll just create a comment over here and let's type single post. And uh, here let's type post container content. And uh, let's set the flex to one. So it will take up all the space that it can now we can see we have the correct width now first of all let me show you how it will look in the end so this is the single post page and the first thing we need to have is the breadcrumbs so here we have the title of our post then we have the category and then we have the home page so this is the breadcrumbs and then we have this title of our blog post then we have this metadata and then we have the labels and then we have a thumbnail and then we have the content and at the bottom we have the recent post displayed so let's go back and start with the breadcrumbs. So let's go to the blog single post page and here in the content, let's create a division of the class of breadcrumbs and let's create an anchor tag. And uh, here we need to add the link of the home page. And here in the text, I'll just tap home. And here we can see we have the home and uh, let's add a greater than symbol. And let's create another anchor tag and uh, here let's type the category name i'll just type game dev and let's add greater than symbol and for the title we don't need to have the anchor tag because this is not clickable this is the current page so let's go back and uh, here let's create a strong tag because we want it to be displayed as font weight of bold so let's type the title i'll just copy this and paste it over here and now if we go back here we can see that we have the breadcrumbs displayed now the next thing we need to add is the heading. So let's copy the heading and let's go back. Let's go outside the breadcrumbs division. Let's create an H1 and let's give it a class of post heading. And here let's paste the heading. And then here we have the heading. And then we need to have this uh, metadata. So let's create a division of the class of post meta. And uh, here first of all we need to have the author and the date. So I'll just create a division of the class of date. And let's type posted by and let's add a strong tag and let's add the author name i'll just tap admin and uh, let's tap on let's add a strong tag and here let's add the date and let's tap 23rd june 2024 and uh, here we can see we have the metadata and then we need to have these labels so let's go outside this date division and let's create a division of the class of labels and in that let's create anchor tags and here let's create a class and let's tap label and here let's add the label game dev and let's duplicate this and here let's type animations and now we can see we have the labels displayed over here and then we need to add the thumbnail so let's create a division with the class of thumbnail over here let's go outside this uh, post meta division and let's create a division with the class of thumbnail 
and in this we'll create an img tag and in the source let's type images forward slash blog one dot jpg and uh, now we can see we have the thumbnail displayed and after that we need to have this uh, post body content displayed over here so i'll just create paragraphs for that and let's add all of them inside a post body division let's create paragraph and add the paragraphs over here so i'll just do the same for all the paragraphs So we have added all the content and after the content we need to add the recent posts. So if we take a look at this design we can see that it is the same as uh, the blog list page. So if you go back to the blog list page here we can see that we have this design and we have the same design for the recent posts. So let's go ahead and add that. We just need to change I think the font size of the heading. So let's go ahead and copy this uh, element. Let's go back to the blog list page and let's copy this blog list division. And let's paste it over here. Let's go outside the post body division and let's paste the blog list division over here. And we just need to add two recent posts. So let's go back and uh, delete all the extra posts we have over here. So this is the first card and this is the second card. Let's remove all the other cards. And now if we go back here, we can see that we have the recent post displayed over here. We just need to change this heading. So let's scroll up. And here instead of all posts, we need to type recent posts. And that's basically it with the single post page HTML. Now let's go ahead and add the CSS and make it look like this. So let's go to our CSS file and uh, here let's start adding the styles first of all let's style the breadcrumbs so let's type bread crumbs over here and uh, let's add a background color of f3 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 which is a light gray color and we need to set the width of the element to fit content and let's set the font size to 14 pixels and let's add a padding of 0 top and bottom 24 pixels left and right and let's add a line height of 1.8 so that if it is displayed in multiple lines we have some gap and let's add some margin bottom so it's the margin bottom of 24 pixels and let's add a border radius so let's tap border radius and uh, let's set it to 4 pixels and now we can see we have these rounded corners all right now let's style this post heading so for the h1 here inside the single post.html page we have this uh, heading with a class of post heading so let's type post heading and uh, let's set the font size to 40 pixels and let's set the line height to 120 percent right now let's style this meta so we have a division with the class of post meta so let's type post meta and let's set the display to flex flex direction to column and let's add a gap of 8 pixels so this is adding a gap between this line of text and these labels right now let's add some margin top for this uh, thumbnail so that it has some separation from these labels so let's type post container thumbnail and let's set the margin top to 32 pixels right now we need to add this line at the bottom of this uh, post body and we need to add some padding and some margin so let's do that let's go back over here and let's type post container post body and let's add a margin bottom of 60 pixels and let's add a padding bottom of 60 pixels as well and uh, let's set the border bottom to one pixel solid db 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 and here we can see we have this separator and the last thing we need to do is change the size of this heading. So for that, let's go back over here and uh, let's add some class to this container. So here for the cards container, I just type recent posts container. And uh, here let's type post container recent 
posts container and in that we have the heading so we have the s3 so let's type s3 and let's set the font size to let's try 20 pixels and i think that looks all right right now the last thing we will do is when we are on smaller screens we'll just decrease the font size of this heading so let's go to the mobile version and here we have this font size so let's go back and here let's go ahead and type at media and let's add a max width of 800 pixels so whenever the screen width is less than 800 pixels we just type post heading and let's set the font size to 36 pixels and here we have this heading displayed in a smaller font size so everything is working all right and we have the recent post displayed over here we have the sidebar displayed at the bottom so that's basically how you can design this single post page using html and css all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day